Hi, this is Chad with NoviSign, and today we're going to go over Chrome OS devices that you can use uh, for digital signage. Uh, when I refer to Chrome OS devices, I'm referring to Chrome media players um, that you would connect to the TV through HDMI. Uh, first, what is a digital signage media player? A digital signage media player is a small form device that connects to the TV through HDMI and the internet through either Wi-Fi or hardwire. Um, the device itself will check the cloud for content updates, download the content, cache it locally onto the Chrome device and play it on the TV. If the internet drops, the content will still keep on playing and you won't have to worry about blue screens, black screens, or anything like that if you're using NoviSign. Now to get into the Chrome OS devices, um, it is basically broken down into two primary types. There's the Chrome bit and a Chrome box. So let's first grow, go over the Chrome bit. Um, so Chrome bit is a very small USB style um, Chrome device uh, in this one specific, we're looking at the ASUS Chrome bit. Uh, overall, from a pricing standpoint, they are here on Amazon for $97.25. And basically, this little device, uh, you know, gets you very low cost, uh, you know, price point for digital signage. You simply get the device connected to the TV uh, to uh, through the HDMI and then the Internet through Wi-Fi. Uh, from a performance standpoint, uh, the Chrome bits are going to be so-so. Um, if you're looking to basically just have, the, you know, static slideshows, maybe a scrolling ticker uh, and some images, it will run fine. But if you're trying to do, say, a video, YouTube, scrolling ticker, motion graphics, stuff like that, um, this is more of an entry-level type of setup, so you will probably experience some lag, might be a little glitchy. So all in all, the uh, Chrome bit, yeah, it's going to be a low price. Um, from a media performance standpoint, it's going to be so-so. Uh, you know, takeaway, if you're simply putting text and images, this will work fine. Uh, anything past that, just, you know, be prepared. doesn't matter what software you use. Uh, you know, it could be a little um, uh, laggy from a media performance standpoint. Um, then on to the uh, Chrome boxes. So Chrome boxes are going to be much more high-powered. Um, setups, again, these do connect to a uh, TV through HDMI. Uh, from a manufacturer standpoint, we've got here companies like Aopen. Uh, Aopen makes very high-end commercial grade setups. Um, they've got the Aopen Chromebox, then the Aopen Chromebox Mini. Uh, the Aopen Chromebox Mini is basically, you know, lower price point. We're, we're looking at uh, 200 bucks. Uh, from a memory standpoint, 4 gig, 16 gig. Um, the standard A-Open Chrome box um, is going to be significantly higher, 430 bucks to 480 bucks. Um, from a, 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 a storage standpoint, we've got here 4 gig, 16 or 32. Um, it's got a little bit power, more powerful processor. Uh, all in all, the A-Open brand makes very, very good commercial grade um, you know, setups for Chrome boxes. Um, next one here is a CTL Chrome box. Uh, CTL makes um, very good Chrome devices. Uh, from a memory standpoint, you're looking at 4 gigs, uh, base 32 gig, uh, which is not bad at all. Uh, it natively supports 4K resolution. That's pretty good. Uh, from a pricing standpoint, they're only 220 bucks. Uh, that's, that's a really good price point for a very solid uh, Chrome box. Uh, CTL is a manufacturer based out of uh, Oregon, I believe, and they, they do a lot of volume with, with schools. So lots of elementary schools buy CTL devices. All in all, CTL, uh, definitely not bad if you're trying to get a Chrome, Chrome box uh, to run your digital signage. Um, as we move down here, we've got here the Acer Chrome box, a um, little bit older model. Uh, it's got an i3 processor, so it's it, you know a lot more, you know, pretty pretty good power. 150 bucks, 200. 30, uh, 350 bucks, the HP uh, and Dell, again, not bad brands at all. From a pricing standpoint, you know, you're looking at 150 bucks and up. And as we come down, uh, it starts getting into some of the newer devices. Uh, the AOPEN Chromebox 2 that uh, that came out within the last 12 months, I believe. Um, we've got a couple different uh, processors that you can choose from, 16, 32 gig from storage. Um, overall, you know, not bad at all. 
And as far as uh, getting our app on the system, um, you'd simply go to the Chrome Web Store that's on the Chrome Box, and uh, you'd search for NoviSign and install it. Once you're installed, um, you would uh, log into your account. Uh, you may also have to put it in a uh, kiosk mode that uh, Google requires. Um, those are a couple of extra steps from a setup standpoint. Um, it's now required by Google, but uh, you know it's 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 in general you know running on Chrome devices not a bad option. Um, if you have your own Chrome device, you can definitely use it. You know just install uh, the NoviSign app onto it. Uh, just an FYI though, NoviSign does not run on Chromecast. Uh, Chromecast is a streaming device. It's not necessarily a media player. It's more of a streaming device. Um, so if the internet drops, you lose your content, kind of defeats the purpose. Um, but again, just to quickly recap it, NoviSign runs on Chrome bits, Chrome boxes. Uh, you'd open up the uh, Chrome Web Store, search for NoviSign, and uh, add it to the device to get it started. Um, you can sign up uh, for NoviSign on our website, so NoviSign.com. And basically, NoviSign is a cloud-based interface for creating your content, putting together the, the, uh, the information that you're going to be sending to the screens. Um, simply select the Start Now button. takes you to a free 30-day trial. You can sign up for NoviSign and uh, you know get started yourself. Uh, free 30-day trial, no credit card is needed. If you have any specific questions, uh, you can send us an email, info at NoviSign.com. Um, check out our YouTube channel. NoviSign Digital Signage, you'll see an extensive library, probably the best library uh, for digital signage software that you'll find, step-by-step -step videos, how-to guides, widget guides, specific demos, uh, examples, everything you need regarding digital signage. You can find it on our YouTube channel, um, NoviSign Digital Signage. And, uh, you know, we look forward to working with you. If you have any questions, let us know. Monday through Friday, 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. phone support, 24-7 email uh, support as well. Um, thank you, and we look forward to working with you.